this is the best video I've seen about neuropathy and in it it covers the class of drugs that I'm back to using designed for Caesar but supposed to help neuropathy but the last two days the pain been just so bad so I said I'll try it again he does talk about he does talk about fasting I'll put the link in it. Time. First of all, you need to listen to the whole thing. It's worth it. And at the end, he talks about fasting. And he does say fasting is a method of getting rid of neuropathy. And he does say use a method different than prolong. And that's. 20 hours a day fasts I could do all the fasts I want but I gotta keep my weight up if I let my weight drop too low I'll be really sick so I'll put on the peripheral neuropathy in the majority of people. Now, there will be exceptions if you have one of the weird causes, right, that I talked about earlier. But for 80 or 90% of the people, you're having hyperglycemia, having chronic inappropriate inflammation, and having a confused immune system. Those are the three major causes of at least the majority of your peripheral neuropathy pain and so diet you absolutely need to to slowly or quickly depending on how severe your symptoms are transform your diet from whatever you're eating now to a very low carbohydrate diet you need to get all the sugar both added and natural out of your diet because that spikes your blood sugar you need to get all the grains out of your diet wheat rice oats corn and all the rest of the grains because they break down immediately into sugar which spikes your blood sugar remember hyperglycemia you, you, and so if you're eating low carb, that's fine with me. If you're eating a keto diet, that's going to work too. If you're eating a carnivore diet, that's going to work too. So your diet is, that's really the most important thing you can change to help lessen your symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. And then fasting. If you have moderate to severe uh, peripheral neuropathy symptoms, you absolutely, as quick as you can, you need to ramp up your daily fasting from just the eight hours that you fast while you're asleep, you need to quickly ramp that up to a 14 to a 20 hour a day fast. When you get up to 14 hours a day and you do that for a while, you're gonna to start to notice an improvement. The, the, the higher up you're able to ramp it, 16, 18, or 20 hours, you're gonna notice improvement quicker. Now keep in mind, nerves grow very slowly. Nerves regrow very slowly. So if hyperglycemia has caused glycation and then caused your phagocytes to come in and destroy a tiny nerve ending in your toe or your foot and you're having peripheral neuropathy pain there, going low-carb keto carnivore is not going to fix that overnight. It's going to take weeks or months for that nerve to regrow and find its other end that it lost because it was interrupted. So don't expect overnight results. That's not how the human body works when it comes to nerve physiology. Nerves regrow very, very slowly. It may take several months. But if you suffer from severe peripheral neuropathy, I don't have to tell you that if anything makes it better, it's worth waiting a while to get that improvement. I've actually have had contact with patients in the past who have committed suicide because their peripheral neuropathy was so severe and so disabling. I try to post at least three new videos. So, uh, by the way, sad to say, 
I understand this concept of suicide, unfortunately. I have no intention. Life is too good to, to shorten it. But I'm, I'm going to have to go for 20 day fast and five day fasts, which I'm intending to stretch to six days. I discussed it before. Can't say I'm looking forward to any of this. I did go for a walk this morning. How can I tell you this? It was nothing but a ball of pain. The whole walk was nothing but pain. But I went. That's the only thing that limits my pain or redistribute my pain is, is walking on it. Strange. If I didn't walk on it, it would get a whole lot worse, a whole lot quicker. But walking on it is still painful. Paradox. I live in a strange, strange paradox. And I truly hope that uh, the first thing is going to work. Well, I'm going to call it quits on this video.